Hey guys, Craig Atkins here and welcome to another week in outdoors. Uh, today we're at the range shooting my new Ruger Precision 17 HMR and I wanted to show you a real bargain that I ran across a few weeks ago when I got this gun. I was looking for a new scope and I couldn't find the one I wanted but I ran across this Simmons Pro Target 3x9 scope at Walmart for $53 and I looked it over and it had a lot of the features that I was looking for. It has a 30 millimeter tube, um, it has um, mill dot reticle, it came with flip up scope covers or lens covers. The turrets, the top and side turrets are done in mills. Um, it had a very clean bright picture. You know, I was pretty impressed, so I really wanted to shoot my gun, so I went ahead and bought it for $53. And the website said it came with um, uh, scope rings, but mine didn't for whatever reason. Maybe because it came from Walmart. I don't know. But anyway, I wasn't too depressed, so I had some rings around the house. I mounted it on the gun, and that was about two weeks ago. And I came out here, and I started shooting... Um, and I thought, hey, this scope's pretty nice. So I got out to start shooting 200 yards, then 300 yards. And, you know, I was doing the dope and I was dialing back and forth. And, you know, to my surprise, it was holding at zero. And, you know, if a scope doesn't hold at zero, those tours aren't worth diddly squat. So, you know, I started dialing this thing out to 400 yards. And for a 17 HMR, that drops eight feet in 400 yards you know so I'm dialing that thing way up there you know to I think uh, 400 yards was like 6.7 mils and um, more than a full rotation and dialing back down to zero boom still dead on I was very very impressed so what I thought I'd do here for you today is um, take some shots at some steel at 100. I have a steel target at 225 and one at 300. And then we'll take, well, we're gonna have to dial up to 200 and dial up to 300. And then we'll dial back down to zero, take a shot at 50 yards, see if we're still on. Um, the wind's really kind of blowing every different direction here this afternoon. It's going to start raining any minute, so we're going to have to hurry up and get this done. But anyway, um, uh, I have cameras set up at 100, 200, 300, and a camera at um, 50 yards as well. So let's get this thing ready and, and get to shooting. My ears on here. Okay, check, make sure I'm on zero. I got four rounds here in my clip. We're ready to get this thing fired up. All right. We'll start with the 100-yard target. Here we go. Nice. All right. Now, we're going to have to dial up, according to at 225, is 1.2 mils. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, I can see that hit in uh, in my scope. That's nice. Be able at 225 yards to see that little 17 splatter on that target. All right, let's go out to 300 yards, and let's see, 300 yards is 3.2 mils. Here we go. All right. Safety off. Here we go. Oh, it's nice and calm right now. Oh, I seen that hit 300 yards, and I can see that 17 hit the target. That's real impressive. All right, let's dial back down to zero and go to 50 yards. And there's a bullseye. Nice. Well, there you have it, guys. 
that's pretty impressive for a $53 scope. So if you're looking for a, a really good deal, great value, check out that Simmons Pro Target 3x9 scope. Man, you know, I may have a $500 17 HMR and a $50 scope, but you know what? I think this scope has found a home on my gun. I don't think I'm going to change it. It does its job, returns to zero every time. Can't beat it. So until next time, guys, I'm Craig Atkins. Enjoy your weekend outdoors.